Top 10. Hey everybody out there, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you again for tuning in to Acting with Chad Rook. My name is Chad Rook, and in today's video, I'm going to give you my top 10 list of my favorite comedy characters in film of all time. Now, this was another really hard list to do, as I love comedy, and I just, I mean, I grew up loving people like Jim Carrey and Mike Myers and Steve Martin, and and it really ultimately is what encouraged me to get into acting. Uh, It's one of my favorite genres. I, I can't tell you, I mean, I could have made a, a top 100 list, but uh, anyway, uh, here's some characters of my honorable mentions that didn't make my, my top 10 list, but uh, the, the ones that I did decide um, to choose and put into the list, I hope you like, I hope you enjoy, uh, because they literally made me laugh almost through the entire film and films that they they were in, and the characters that they depicted are so original, just so funny. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And if there's someone on this list that you think should have been on there, please leave in the comments your top 10 list, as I'd love to hear it. And if there's videos in the future that you would like me to make, or top 10 videos that you would like to see, please leave those in the comments as well. So without further ado, please, Enjoy my top 10 favorite comedy film characters. At number 10, we have Adam Sandler in Happy Gilmore. Now, this bipolar, hockey-loving, turned golf professional character is anything but normal. But when you put him on film, I mean, comedy ensues. Enjoy. Happy, the ball itself has its own energy, or life force, if you will. Its natural environment is in the hole. So why don't you send him home? His bags are packed. He's got his airplane tickets. Bring him to the airport. Send him home. (laughs) Send him home. I just send him home. It's time to go home there, ball. Son of a bitch, ball. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Suck my white ass ball! At number nine, we have Robin Williams' character of Mrs. Doubtfire. Now, if you make any top ten list that involves comedy characters, I have no idea how you could not include this. This is a famous role that obviously could not be played by anyone but Robin Williams, and he does an absolutely astounding job. We're going to miss his talent, and here's an example of why he was and still is so great. Miss Hiller? Yes, dear? I take sugar in my tea. Oh, your tea! Oh, tea and tea right there with your tea! Come in right up here, sugar! One love for two, dear! Two, please! Tea! Sugar! Hot water! You've got it all, dear! Come in right your way, dear! Come in right there with your tea! No! Stop! Stop! Oh! Oh! No! Oh, shit! Oh! Ow! Oh! Can I give you a hand? Oh, no, dear. I don't need a hand. I need a face. A face. Are you sure? boiling. Hello! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry to frighten you, dear. I must look like a yeti in this get-up. This is my nightly meringue mask, part of my beauty regimen. What it is is basically egg whites, creme fraiche, powdered sugar, vanilla, and a little touch of alum. There you go, dear. Oh, there you go. You've got your cream and your sugar now. It's a little cappuccino. One drop or two. Would you like another one? Oh, there you go. (laughs) 
In at number eight might be a little bit of a curveball for you guys, but let me explain, okay? I have Christina Ricci's character of Wednesday Adams from The Adams Family. Now, I grew up loving The Adams Family, and if I had a top 100 list, I'd probably put the entire family on it, okay? But Christina Ricci depicted this character perfectly. It's it's her deadpan comedy and and just warped dark sense of humor is amazing. And like I said, she depicted it so well that I can't even watch a Christina Ricci character since then without seeing Wednesday Adams. So here's a couple scenes with her as Wednesday Adams. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Amanda Buckman. Why are you dressed like that? Like what? Like you're going to a funeral. Why are you dressed like somebody died? Wait. Amanda couldn't wait. It's all she talked about. She's got a whole new wardrobe. And this little lady? Oh, Wednesday's at that very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind. Boys. Homicide. Home cooking! There's nothing like it in the world. May I have the salt? What do we say? Now. Of course, this made the list, and you guys all knew it was coming, but in at number seven, we have Ben Stiller's Derek Zoolander from Zoolander, the blue steel male model, which we all grew to love and became an icon in the comedy characters. So we all know him. We all love him. So without further ado, let's watch him. Let's get back to the reason that we're really here. Without much further ado, I give you the Derek Zoolander Sinner for Kids Who Can't Read Good. What is this? A center for ants? What? How can we be expected to teach children to learn how to read if they can't even fit inside the building? Derek, it's just a... I don't want to hear your excuses! The center has to be at least... three times bigger than this! He's absolutely right. Thank you. I have a vision. Now, as I mentioned before, Steve Martin was one of my favorite comedy actors growing up, so needless to say, he's on the list. But it was basically coming down to what character should I choose. And right at the top of the list that jumped out at me was, uh, you know, Inspector Clouseau from The Pink Panther. It's absolutely... Uh, you can't, I mean, it, it's so funny and hilarious, his, his, his French accent, his French ways of his demeanors and everything, uh, of how he depicts this character, you can't stop watching him, and it's just hilarity upon hilarity. So, here you go, here's a taste of why Steve Martin is an absolute comedy genius. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy... Am Berger. No, no, no. Let's break it down. I. Uh, I. I. Would. 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 Like. 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 Two. 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 Bye. 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 A. A. Hamburger. 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 Ham. Ham. Burr. Burr. Gur. Gur. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. It's not damburger. Hamburger. I'm not saying damburger. I said, I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy the hamburger. Hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. Maybe we should stop. We don't quit. We do not quit. Again, again. 
I would like to buy a hamburger. 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 The burger. Number five is Mike Myers in Austin Powers. Now, I could have put really any of his characters because he literally played so many. I mean, Austin Powers, uh, Fab Bastard, um, you know, uh, Gold Member. I mean, you know, and and but on top of all those uh, characters that he played, Doctor Evil was by far my favorite, and I think a lot of other people's as well. I mean, his twisted and warped views on life and how he can conquer the world is just hilarious. And here's a prime example as to why Mike Myers' character of Doctor Evil is definitely up on the list. Gentlemen. I have a plan. It's called blackmail. As you know, the royal family of Britain are the wealthiest landowners in the world. Either the royal family pays us an exorbitant amount of money or we make it seem that Prince Charles has had an affair outside of marriage and therefore would have to divorce. <clears throat> Prince Charles did have an affair. He admitted it, and they are now divorced. Right, okay, people, you have to tell me these things, all right? I've been frozen for 30 years, okay? Throw me a frickin' bone here. I'm the boss. Need the info. Okay, no problem. Here's my second plan. Back in the 60s, I developed a weather changing machine, which was in essence a sophisticated heat beam, which we called a laser. Using these lasers, we punch a hole in the protective layer around the world, which we call the ozone layer. Slowly but surely, ultraviolet rays would pour in, increasing the risk of skin cancer that is, unless the world pays us a hefty ransom. That also already has happened. Shit. Oh, hell, let's just do what we always do. Hijack some nuclear weapons and hold the world hostage. Back in 2001, when the comedy Bridesmaids came out, there was a character in there that absolutely stole the show, and I don't think that it was expected to because she's such a smaller type character in the film. And that is Melissa McCarthy's character of Megan. She absolutely stole every single scene she was in, and that is, you know, alongside major comedy players um, in the film. So she was not only a newcomer in the industry, but she immediately shot herself to the very top of the comedy ladder for females in the industry with this character of Megan. Enjoy. And this is Dougie's sister, Megan. Hey. Hi. Oh. Hi. My grandma's not supposed to have wine. I'll, I'll be right back. Hey. How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. I'm on the mend. You know, I just got some pins in my legs. Oh. Believe it or not, pins in my legs can still do this. <laughs> All right? A mate fell off a cruise ship. Oh, but I'm back. Shit. I'm, yeah, oh shit. Yeah, oh shit. Took a hard, hard, violent fall. Kind of pinballed down. Hit a lot of railings. Broke a lot of shit. I didn't... I'm not going to say I survived and say I thrived. I met a dolphin down there, and I swear to God that dolphin looked not at me, but into my soul, into my goddamn soul, Annie, and said, I'm saving you, Megan. Not with his mouth, but he said it, I'm assuming telepathically. We had a connection that I don't even know if I can, ex oh, Jesus. Hey, shut my mouth. Look at, the unbelievable. You must be Annie's fella. I'm Megan. It's a pleasure. Oh, and well. he's not, um, I'm not, he's not, I'm not with him. Sorry. Oh. All right. I'm glad he's single because I'm going to climb that like a tree. In at number three is Will Ferrell and his character of Ron Burgundy. Now, uh, this may be number one on a lot of people's list as, you know, his hilarious one-liners throughout the film are just non-stop and, and just repeated by everybody and anybody who has ever seen the film throughout their life. Now, 
this is just one of many, many memorable scenes where Will Ferrell is interacting with Christina Applegate, who again has been a comedy star ever since I was a kid watching her on Married with Children. So when you put these two together, you get such a funny scene. Here you go. I could do that. Really? Well, yes. Uh, as a journalist, I should get to know the city that I'm covering. But this is not a date. No, of course not. Strictly professional. Wonderful. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I pick you up 8 o'clock? Mm. 9. <clears throat> Downstairs. Mr. Burgundy, you have a massive erection. Really? <laughs> yes, I do. Um, I'm sorry, it's the... It's the pleats. It's, a, it's actually an optical illusion. It's the pattern on the pants. The, it's not fl flattering in the, the crotchal region. I'm actually taking them back right now. Taking them back to the, the pants store. Mm. Oh, this is awkward. I'm gonna walk, uh, I'm gonna walk this situation off and I will see you later. Nothing to look at. Go back to work, everyone. Don't act like you're not impressed. When I first watched Napoleon Dynamite, I actually only made it probably through half an hour of the film before I shut it off thinking it was one of the dumbest films ever made. I then watched it again a second time, and for some reason, I got the comedy. I mean, it's it's definitely its own stylized uh, version of, you know, comedy that we haven't really seen before in the past, but when I got it, Oh my god, it was genius. And John Hedder's character of Napoleon Dynamite immediately shot him not only to the top of my list, but to the top of all, so many people's comedy character lists. Just enjoy the madness that is Napoleon Dynamite. <coughs> How was school? Worst day of my life? What do you think? Well, I want you to go see if Tina wants some of this. Kip hasn't done flipping anything today. Look, tonight me and your... Kip, listen! What? Tonight me and your aunt are gonna go visit some friends and we're not gonna be back till tomorrow. We're getting a little low on steak, so I got Lyle coming over tomorrow to take care of it. Well, what's there to eat? Not get off, Napoleon. Make yourself a dang quesadilla. Fine. I'll be back tomorrow. Stay home and eat all the freaking chips, Kip. Napoleon, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Besides, we both know I'm training to become a cage fighter. Since when, Kip? You have the worst reflexes of all time. Try and hit me, Napoleon. What? I said come down here and see what happens if you try and hit me. Such an idiot. Let me see what your best move is. I am obsessed with Jim Carrey. I have been since I was a kid. He's the reason I got into acting. He's the reason I got into stand-up comedy years and years ago. He's the reason that I started my sketch comedy shows. He, I used to mimic him and impersonate every character he did. And this was by far my favorite character that not only you know made me love Jim Carrey, but made the world love Jim Carrey. It's his standout role that everyone knows and loves, Ace Ventura. Pet detective. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. I know there's a lot riding on it, but it's all psychological. Just got to stay in a positive frame of mind. I'm going to execute a button hook pattern super slow mo. <sighs> Let's see that in an instant replay. I am a young I like my day. I 
You don't think you're hanging all night? You think we're right, huh? That's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed this top 10 list as much as I did. Again, if there's anybody that you think should have made the list that didn't, please leave it in the comments. Or again, leave me your top 10 comedy characters list as I'd love to see what you guys think. I love you guys all. Thank you so much. Please stay safe out there. And please hit that subscribe button as more videos are coming your way. Take care.